Welcome to Online Algebra 2. This is section 11-7, standard deviation. So our objective here is to find the standard deviation and the variance of a set of values. And then we're going to apply the standard deviation and, va and the variance and talk about what it means. So we should know that the standard deviation is a measure of how far the numbers in a data set deviate from the mean. So in previous lessons, we studied range and interquartile range. Each of these is a measure of variation. It tells you how much uh, the data varies. So a measure of variation describes how the data in the set are spread out. Variance and standard deviation are measures showing how much data values deviate from the mean. And we use the Greek letter sigma to represent standard deviation and sigma squared is the variance. Okay, so there's a couple formulas here that we're going to use to help find the variance and the standard deviation. First, we find the mean, x bar, of the set of all the values in the data set. So remember, find the mean, you take all the, the data, add them all up, divide by the number of data points. Then we're going to make a table and we're going to find the difference between each x value and the mean. So we're going to take every x and we're going to subtract off x bar, the mean. Then we are going to square these differences. And then we are going to find the average, the mean of these numbers, of uh, those numbers right there, of the squares. That number, when I find all that, is the variance. And this number right here just means add them all up, or that symbol is called a sigma. Uh, so we just add up all those numbers and take the average there, and we have the variance. And then because that sigma squared, we take the square root to find the standard deviation. Okay, so this is a lot of kind of a lot of work that we're going to have to do to uh, calculate all these numbers. Okay, so let's try it. So what are the mean, variance, and standard deviation for these five numbers? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find x bar. We're going to find the mean. So that's going to be 6.9 plus 8.7 plus 4.8 plus 9.0, all divided by, there's five of them. So we're going to divide by five. Okay, get a calculator and we get 7.4, okay? So that is the mean, that is x bar. So now we're gonna make a table, okay? We're gonna start with my x's. So that's 6.9, 8.7, 7.6, 4.8, and 9.0, okay? Then, and you don't have to write all of these columns here, but my x bar is always gonna be 7.4, Oops, 7.4, okay. Then we're gonna take x minus x bar. So you don't have to write the, the x bar uh, column if you don't want to, but this column is going to be subtracted. So it's 6.9 minus 7.4, so that gives me negative point, 0 0.5, 0.5, okay. 8.7, 8.7, is 1.3. Uh, 7.6 minus 7.4 is 0 0.2. Then we have negative 2.6 and a positive 1.6. Okay, so those are my x minus x bar. Then we're going to take those numbers in the previous column and we're going to square them. So now they're all going to get positive. So now we have 0.25. 1.69, uh, 0 0.04, 6.76, and 2.56. Okay. Then we take all these and we add them together to get 11.30. Okay. So we take that sum. So that means that we now have the sum of the squares. So sigma squared is going to be 11.3 divided by 
5, which is 2.6. And then to find sigma, I take the square root of 2.6, which is about 1.5. Okay, so this number is the variance, and this is the standard deviation. Again, a lot of work to go through, uh, especially if you uh, have a lot more numbers. Okay. Let's try one more time. Okay. So the mean, variance, and standard deviation for these six values now. So first thing we find the mean. So that's 52 plus 63. 80, 82 divided by 6. This one I didn't do ahead of time, so we're going to do this together. 77 plus 80 plus 82 is 419 over 6 is 69.83. Okay, so now I make my table. So we have X, my X's. 52, 63, 65, 77, 80, and 82. Uh, I'm not going to write all the, I'm not going to write 69.83 a bunch of times. So we take X minus X bar. So that's 52 minus 69.83, which gives me negative 17.83. I'm just going to do these right in a row because now I have a calculator, x bar squared. So I'm going to square that number, and we get 317.91. Okay, 63 minus 69.83 gives me negative 6.83. Squaring it, they give me 46.65. And I'm just going to use two decimals here. Uh, 65 minus the 69.83 gives me negative 4.83 squared for 23, uh, 3, 3. Minus the 77 now gives me 7.17 squared is 51.41. Eighty minus the sixty-nine gives me ten point seventeen squared one oh three point four two and finally eighty two minus sixty nine point eight three gives me twelve seventeen and squared is one forty eight eleven. Okay, adding, well, let's make a nicer bracket here. Adding all those together, plus 103, 42, plus 23, 33. I went backwards, 0. 0.65, it's okay. 317.91, adding them all up gives me 690.8. Two. Okay. And then sigma squared is equal to 690.82, the sum of all the squares divided by n, which is 6, to give me a variance of 115.14. And then the standard deviation would just be this square root of that to give me 10.8. Seven three. So this is the variance, and this is the standard deviation. That's a lot, a lot, a lot to do. And look at this data table with fifteen different uh, data points. Okay, 
So this table displays the number of U.S. hurricane strikes by decade from 1851 to 2000, okay? Now, it would be kind of a pain to do this by hand, so I would highly suggest finding a way to do this on your calculator or even finding a handy website that you could use to uh, help you with this. Uh, I googled something, standard deviation calculator, and I came up with uh, a website that kind of does it right there. Okay, So uh, I just take all this data, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to paste it in here, and now you can see that it has my total numbers, it has the mean 17.6, it has my uh, there's two different things here, right? There's a standard deviation and a population standard deviation. Uh, you know, there's a slight difference between the two of them. Uh, we're going to want the population standard deviation. So here's my standard deviation, 3.51, and my variance is going to be 12.37. Uh, okay? So much easier if you have a calculator that can help you out to calculate this data okay uh, in a data list every value falls within some number of standard deviations of the mean for example if the mean is 50 and the standard deviation is 10 then a value x in between 40 and 60 is within one standard deviation and that's really a way that we used to measure uh, data so if we look at the previous data use the hurricane strike data from problem two how many st standard deviations from the mean do all of the values fall? Okay, well, my mean, uh, if you remember from the answer, the mean was 17.6. So X bar is 17.6, and the standard deviation, we'll just use 3.5. Sigma is 3.5. Okay, so if we flip back over to that data, let's find the biggest value and the smallest value. So the largest value on this table right here is 24. And the smallest value on this table is a 12. Okay. So that means using, right, 24 is the max, 12 is the min, 17 is somewhere in the middle if I add 3.5 to 17.6, I get 21.1. So if this is the middle, 21.1. If I add another 3.6, or sorry, 3.5, I get 24.6. So that's one standard deviation. This is two standard deviations deviations from the mean. Okay, so the top number, 24, is within two standard deviations of the mean. Let's go the other way. So that's 17.6 minus 3.5 is 14.1 minus 3.5 again gives me 10.6. So this is one standard deviation and that's two standard deviations. So all of the all of the data in this particular problem is within two standard deviations of the mean. Okay. I don't you get that just by finding the mean and adding and subtracting. Okay, so uh, if there is something to take away from this section, uh, you should know how to calculate the variance and standard deviation. The mean is you should know how to calculate that already, but you should know the steps to calculate the variance and standard deviation by hand, but you absolutely should find a uh, calculator or a website that will help you do it much more quickly, uh, especially for larger sets of data. And that is section 11-7, standard deviation.